Welcome to this video on inference or snapping to points of interest, which can be of great help when we make drawing in 2D sketch mode of Autodesk Fusion. One of the great helpers is the grid. If we turn snap to grid on, if I hit L to draw a line, we see that uh, my cursor now snaps to the grid points and if I click it's also very very easy to get quickly get a specific dimension on the whole numbers. Um, if I click now this is 140. Uh, note however that if I now hit D of dimension, let me finish this line, D of dimension, and I look what the dimension of this line is. It is not exactly 140. That has to do with the 32-bit floating point accuracy of uh, Fusion. Uh, however, the deviation is so small, it's in nanometers, far outside the tolerance of 3D printers or laser cutters or even CNC machines. But if you really don't want this, yeah, then you have to type in 140 and then it is exactly 140. We can switch snap to grid on or off here on the sketch side menu. And there's also a toggle switch here at the bottom on the grid icon. And uh, we can switch it off and we can also change the grid settings here, we can change the spacing between the grid lines. Uh, we can put it on fixed on or on adaptive. On adaptive, uh, the grid changes uh, with your zooming. And that can be uh, nice, uh, although I prefer fixed because then I know exactly what my grid spacing is. Uh, you can also hit this tick mark if you like to see these numbers over there. Now let us switch snap to grid off and let's hit L for line and start drawing a line. Uh, we start over here, click and I'm going to draw this line. It does not snap anywhere, but if I move vertically, then still we see that my line snaps. And we also see this little green double line icon appear and that means that this line is now exactly horizontal. That can of course be of help. If you don't want this you can temporarily switch off snap to grid by pressing control on the keyboard and keep it pressed and now that snapping is gone. Uh, so the control is the uh, savior if you do not want this helper to snap. It's not snapping to the grid, but it's now snapping to a horizontal line. Or if I make it a vertical line, then also such an icon appears. So it can be very helpful. This is what is called inference. I finished the line and look we have over here this little icon and that tells us that this is a horizontal line. Let's draw another line but suppose I want to start that line exactly vertical above this point. What I have to do is hover on that point and we can feel that uh, it is snapping to that point and if I now move vertically we see an, a green dotted line appear. And that means that I am now exactly vertical above that point. I can click and I can create a similar line. And also if I touch this line and touch that point, I can also find this point. And now it snaps uh, when it is parallel. We see that it is now another icon that has appeared here. Uh, oh, let me finish that line. It's another icon. It is now the parallel icon and also over there a parallel icon appeared, which means these lines are parallel. And that was done by the inference snapping uh, to that uh, bottom line that we already had. Let's add another line segment and go up and uh, look what happens if I move horizontally. At a certain point we see a little green rectangle appear and that tells me that I am now exactly perpendicular. Let me click there and we see uh, an icon appear over there which is the perpendicular icon. What I want to do is create let's say a sort of a house with a roof on, on it and 
I click my line again and start dragging another line. Um, look, we have here a yellow marker. That is the marker that tells me this is exactly the middle of this bottom line. If I hover over it, it becomes a triangle. If I now move up, I have caught the midpoint of that line. I can move away a little bit. It's it keeps reappearing, so I can now click here and I know that I am exactly in the middle. Uh, let's continue this line. Um, I can already find uh, this point over here, uh, because it shows me immediately that green line. Uh, if I now move on, I don't uh, interfere already with this bottom point, so I first touch it, and once you have touched it, then it knows what our intention is and now I get a horizontal and vertical green line. If I click here I have exactly a vertical line as my final one and that is shown by this rectangular icon or a perpendicular icon. By the way, lines do not need to touch each other to make them perpendicular. If I, for instance, like to draw a, a line over here and I want it to be perpendicular to the roof, all I have to do is touch that roof line and then go over there to find the, that green rectangle which I have right now and click and then that line is perpendicular to the roof top. Suppose I want a circle, let me press C for a circle. I want it to be on the middle of this line. We can simply find that by hovering over it. I want to find the middle of this line also. Let me try to find it by hovering over it. And now I should get two uh, green dashed lines. Yes, there is the middle of both of them. And there is my circle. Uh, if I want another circle, it's easy to reference a circle just by uh, touching its uh, center point and I can place another circle, let's say, over there. In case I like to have a line parallel to the roof, let me click L for line, draw a line. Uh, nothing uh, is happening at this moment with inference. I first have to touch that roof line, then Fusion knows my intention. And now we can see we get a snap point when I am perfectly parallel. If I click now, these are parallel lines. If I do not want the uh, inference to take place, let me do it again with a line over here. If I do not want this inference, I can hit control on my keyboard and nothing is going to happen. If I release the control, then the inference is working. And now I am perpendicular to that line there. We see that on the green uh, square. So control is to temporarily suppress the inference. This was it. In the meantime, we found these icons uh, or we get these icons like this one and this for parallel and this for horizontal. These are so-called constraints and let's make that the subject of the next video. Maybe see you back there and in the meantime, have fun.